security and governance pillar of the Teams and Development Plus agenda. Lagos State Commissioner for Local Government Chieftains Affairs and Rural Development, Balaji Robert, made this disclosure while rolling out the achievements of his ministry under Governor Vajde Somalusa-led administration in the last one year. The Commissioner also revealed that the state government has uh, committed huge resources to pay an insurance uh, benefit to families of deceased uh, local government and uh, suburb staff to the tune of 300 and also 91 million uh, to 126,600 and also 36 naira in the last one year. As of water and sanitation facility projects in various rural communities across the state, which includes 65 water schemes, 10 communal toilets, and rehabilitation of 18 dilapidated existing water schemes. With Mr. Governor's recent approval, another number of 500 kV transformers will be delivered to 10 communities across the five divisions of the state. This project will help in reducing rural urban migration and enhancing serving urban developments in our rural communities, thereby promoting economic prosperity and development. Now, Robert affirmed that his ministry remains undaunted, that focused on, rel on relenting in its drive towards bringing the dividends of democracy to the doorsteps of the citizens of the state and fully actualize the team's a plus agenda of this administration. According to the Commissioner, the Ministry has also continued to engage critical stakeholders in the state and continue to monitor and inspect projects and markets across the 57 councils to ensure proper hygiene, cleanliness, waste management and structural safety of facilities in markets across the state. In the state government effort to also improve infrastructure in our markets to ensure it means the standard of 21st century economy. Government has continued to identify infrastructure needs of markets in the state for timely intervention that will engender development in these markets. We are also doing law review so that uh, some of our laws are becoming archaic. So we are reviewing it to meet reality of the time. So that will also empower you more, you know, to be able to deliver on your mandates. Uh, again, in delivering on the Teens Clause agenda, I want to say that CERUD, the Center for Rural Development, has a lot, lot of role to play. And, uh, you know, talking about rural agriculture, rural water, rural uh, electricity and all that. So you need to do a lot of training for the rural dwellers, rural youths to stop uh, rural land drift. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.